Hey guys, it's your best boxing friends. I'm Kelsey. This is Rachel. Rachel, what topic did you have for us today? Well, I thought about revisiting Yusek Witherspoon and about how I kind of made up like an optimistic story. And then <laughs> later you told me about Witherspoon and maybe... Maybe he looks like he shouldn't be involved in any kind of professional fighting thing. <laughs> maybe. I mean, you never know. So I saw footage of him shadow boxing for the media and some still images of him. None of which were very flattering for the fighter himself. Yeah. I mean, I've seen better shadow boxing from people that are not professional fighters. So that doesn't mean that he won't turn in a good performance or shouldn't be licensed to fight. But what it does mean is that I don't know why if you're a late opponent replacement, you would go into your media event trying to promote a fight and intentionally look like garbage. Because he looks like garbage. As far as we like don't think how that, we, like we we know that sometimes yeah. marketing for fights is done in such a way that it makes a fighter appear better than what they are. But I have yet to see somebody that's like, I really want to, like, you know, yeah. look like junk before the fight. So I mean, why would you want people to think that? I yeah. mean, that'd be quite the hustle. But yeah, is we just never hustling seen us? It. I've never seen it happen. So <laughs> that's the best story I can make up is that he's totally hustling everybody. He went in there and he's like, man, I'm going to go in there and I'm just going to like throw punches. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. It's going to look like a child out there throwing punches. I'm going to have a lazy eye. I'm going to look awful. And then when that bell rings, I'm going to unfold into the beautiful boxing flower that I am. And I'm going to destroy Alexander Usyk and take my rightful place among the top 10 of heavyweight contenders. <laughs> But yeah. probably Tyrone Probably Spong not. And what we will get a better opponent. Saturday is just an idea of Usyk at this weight, right? I mean, basically, we're just going to see Usyk go out. He weighed in at 215 pounds. So he's at his, which really, like, we stood next to the guy. He's a huge guy. He's a heavyweight, naturally. I think he was cutting down to cruiserweight. Walking around weight, going in there, and we're going to see how he can move as a heavyweight. But other than that, how much can we really tell from him fighting a guy like Chaz Witherspoon? At least against Tyrone Spong. And I hope I'm not saying her name wrong. I want to say Sponge, but there's no... But that's not it. I think it's Spong. Tyrone Spong. At least we know with Tyrone Spong that um, he was danger enough, dangerous enough a fighter to actually have a cougar, a live cougar as a pet. So, I mean, you've got you to gotta be on your A game as far as being the alpha if you've got a, a killer cat loose in your house. You know what I'm saying? Because cats... Think about this. Cats, little like house cats, don't care about you. Imagine what a big giant cat who could literally kill you thinks about you. He probably doesn't think about you very much. But Tyrone was at least tough enough to have that that cat in his house. Now maybe, maybe Tyrone got into a little a battered uh, pet parent situation, and that's how that cat got loose, and how he got ultimately got charged with those crimes. You know. I I don't even know what's happening anymore. Uh, I guess I don't have too much to say about it because the fight's tomorrow. By the time we publish it, it might have already happened. Who knows? We're pretty lazy sometimes. No. But you don't have to be lazy. You can like, comment, and subscribe to this video. That's right. Even if you don't like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Even if you hate our guts, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me tell you something for real. We're a couple hundred subscribers or so away from where we could potentially monetize these videos, which would probably net us 13 cents a piece. But listen, every 13 cents matters. Look at my glasses. I have duct tape <laughs> on my glasses because, because of our fun, current financial situation. Don't you want to help the channel grow? Don't you want to help Kelsey get new glasses? Huh? That's one small way that you can help a Kelsey. Help a Kelsey today. If you go to helpkelseys.org, which doesn't exist, maybe, it might exist, but just don't do that. Just like, comment, and subscribe and help the channel grow. Thanks, guys.